This village in Kenya has a source of power that others don't. It means the lights are on at night here, while other places stay dark. So school children have electric light to study by, and it's all thanks to this man. He built a generator for the community using old bicycle parts. Now he provides power to hundreds of his neighbours. People fixing, people fixing the world. John Magiro is respected in his home village. People know him as the man who brought electricity to their homes. John got tired of living without electric power. He decided to take things into his own hands and stop waiting for the power company to connect his home to the national grid. So he started experimenting with scrap metal and old bicycle parts to see if he could generate power for his community by himself. I discovered that uh, I can use the same uh, bicycle dynamo to change the life of uh, my home where I was living and also to change the life of the community. Uh, the challenge was the electricity that the dynamo was generating, it is allowed 0.5 watts, so it was even not enough to my home uh, to use that electricity. He added an old car alternator, a magnet and other components and used the water from his local river to drive his homemade generator. It produced enough power to light his home and his neighbours. Since those early days, the power network John runs has grown. Nowadays, his company operates several large generators nearby, producing enough power for 750 local people. He's transformed their lives. Magiro Power has really benefited me and my family, especially the children. Previously, we would use handheld kerosene lamps, which were very dangerous, very smoky. Sometimes we will get scared that these lamps will burn the house. And John's proud of bringing affordable electricity to his community. Considering this area, some of the uh, uh, farmers, so they could not be able to afford to be connected uh, to the national grid. 